Hey everybody, what's going on? This is Rich again. Um, just one more video, or one more comment on the whole disfellowshipping thing. So anyway, as I was uh, loading up my videos, I forgot if disfellowshipping had one P or two, so I put in the Googles just to spell check it. It has two Ps, obviously. And uh, came across the uh, article that that one picture comes from. So I read it a little bit and I noticed two things. One, doesn't mention Galatians 6 in anywhere in this article. Look, Galatians 6 1 is not in there. And two, I'll just read this uh, third paragraph in here. It says, two factors must be considered, or two factors which must coincide, result in the disfellowshipping of one of Jehovah's Witnesses. First, a baptized witness commits a serious sin. Second, he does not repent of his sin. Let's talk about this repent real quick. Because it, dude, I don't think I uh, really touched on it. A little bit. But who judges the repentance? Didn't Jesus say, don't judge? Don't judge, yes, lest ye be judged. Where's the criteria? Does it, you know, where's the criteria for what repentance means? What does it mean to be repentant? How do they judge repentance? You know, is repentance, I mean, like I said, you can have somebody confess the elders crying, asking for forgiveness, and they still disfellowship them because. There's a pattern. They've done it before. Um, and then it goes back to what if someone sins against you? Should I, should I forgive them seven times? Jesus says no, 77 times. Again, this, in this article, it's just a bunch of nonsense. Just them trying to justify their um, practice. Read that Galatians 6.1. They don't mention that in this whole article. Why don't they mention the article? Because they don't want you to look it up. They don't want you to know that. Well, I mean, I guess they can look, you can look it up in their Bible because they've changed it. But the off chance you might look it up somewhere else. They don't want you to see that. I mean, have you ever heard Galatians 6.1 being brought up in an article, in a magazine, on the platform? It's just, again, it's not to keep the congregation clean. And it's not to uh, bring glory to God. You know, what are they saying there? Ah, is it? it has clean standards. Our behavior, yeah, since he, we bear the name of Jehovah, our behavior inevitably reflects upon his name. <laughs> they don't apply that to themselves now, do they? Their behavior. Their behavior in child sexual abuse reflects on his name. They don't care. God forbid you give in for some weakness, some fleshly desire. Anyway, I, I, I just thought that was interesting and I figured I'd make a quick little video about that. Another thing is in, I think, my video three on disfellowshipping, I bring up a example of a, of my old roommate um, and I didn't really give enough backstory or I kind of went through it kind of quickly so it sounds pretty harsh you know I, I say one time he's out well we had actually been trying to help this guy out for a couple of years I got in different various ways I had gotten him a job at Jimmy John's twice before which he burnt me on both times I was somehow able to convince my boss to give him a third chance. 
uh, his boyfriend had uh, was an addict too at a time. At a the time they were both together, addicts. He got clean. He got himself straight. He was working to help this guy. This guy had help. He had support. This guy chose to continue to live that life. He chose the meth and whatever he was doing. So, and he went, he came in knowing this was his last shot where we weren't going to be, you know, playing around like, you know, and we even went into it knowing that, uh, that he wasn't going to really, he wasn't really serious about turning himself around. We gave him one more chance because he was a nice guy. He was a cool guy. And we don't shun him, you know. You see him on the street, hey, how you doing? Hope you're doing good. You know, if he contacts us on the social medias, we'll, re we'll respond. So we don't shun him, you know, but we did get him out of our uh, house. And again, we gave him plenty of chances it's it's the 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 life he chose to live wasn't in line with us was what we wanted we didn't want that and we didn't want you know him to maybe perhaps trigger my wife into you know a relapse or something so like i said there are instances where you could where shunning is permissible well, we're not shunning, but a more drastic, you know, let's not deal with this person too much. Let's keep our distance from a person. But the average is fellowship person, the average sin doesn't apply. So anyways, um, that's it for that. And um, I might make a couple more of these little commentaries of going through these videos and seeing things I've missed that I think are important. So, um, take care all and enjoy life.